Welcome. Last time we solved some problems based on uh, Ohm's law. Today I will uh, try to solve some problems. This is the first problem. Calculate the resistance of 150 meter of aluminum conductor of 2.5 square mm cross section area. The resistivity of aluminum is 2.65 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter. Suppose this is the aluminum conductor of uh, area of cross section is 2.5 square mm and uh, the length is 150 meter now we have to calculate the resistance of this aluminum conductor we know the formula of the resistance r is equal to rho l divided by a rho is the resistivity of aluminum here it is given 2.65 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter. L is the length of the conductor. Here it is 150 meter and A is the area of cross section. It is given as 2.5 square mm. So now we have to write down this L is equal to 2 sorry L is equal to 150 meter and uh, 150 and area of cross section a this is a circular cross sectional area and it is given as 2.5 square mm so you can write 2.5 square mm square mm that is equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square because we know that uh, 1000 mm is equal to 1 meter so 1 mm is equal to 1 by 1000 meter that is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter and uh, hence 1 mm square is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 meter square so 2.5 uh, square mm is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square because 1 mm is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meters. So putting in this equation, find R is equal to rho, rho is 2.65, 2.65 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter, resistivity is in ohm meter and L, what is L? L is 150 meter, 150 meter divided by A, A is 2.5, 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square so simplifying that uh, 1 2.65 into 150 divided by 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 8 when 10 to the power 6 will go to the numerator it will become 10 to the power 6 so 10 to the minus 8 plus 6 that means 10 to the power minus 2 minus 2 meter square and here it is meter and meter this 2 meter will cancel out with meter square so in the so the unit will be ohm it should be that is this much ohm that is equal to when we'll calculate this uh, you can see this numerator this 2.65 is slightly more than 2.5 so it will be more than 150 so and this uh, this value has comes as 159 159 and it is 10 to the power minus 2 ohm that is equal to 1.59 ohm so this is the resistance of this aluminium conductor which is 150 meter length and 2.5 square mm it comes around 1.5 ohm that is 1.59 ohm. Next we will solve another problem. A rectangular copper bus bar has length 1.5 meter. Its width is 50 mm. This is width. It is 50 mm. And thickness is 6 mm. It is the thickness 6 mm. Calculate the resistance of the bus bar. This is the resistivity rho, rho of copper. That is equal to 1.68 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter. So, we know that the resistance R is equal to rho L divided by A. L is given here that is 1.5 meter and uh, area of cross section here it is 
rectangular area of cross section so a is 6 mm into 50 mm uh, that will get uh, 300 300 mm square and uh, uh, we'll convert it to meter square that will be 300 uh, into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square that is equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square and the row is 1.68 into 10 to uh, 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter so we'll put all these values in the formula and get the resistance r is equal to row row is 1.68 1.68 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter multiplied with the length length is 1.5 meter and uh, in the denominator it is a a is 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square so simplifying will get uh, that is equal to 1.68 into 1.5 divided by 3 into 10 to the power 8 sorry 10 to the power minus 8 divided by 10 to the power minus 4 that would become 10 to the power minus 4 the meter meter in the numerator will cancel with this meter square in the denominator so simplifying this value we will find it is equal to 0.84 into 10 to the power minus power this much ohm that is equal to 0.084 into 10 to the power minus 3 ohm that we can say 0.08 per milliohm so you get the resistance as 0.08 per milliohm that is very small this is desired for bus bars this types of rectangular bus bars are found mainly in distribution substations where bus bars are arranged in horizontal or vertical suppose this is one bus bar this is another and this is another this is an ac substation but what value calculated here that is also applied in ac for substations and these are three phases abc and the lines are terminated like this and some other line like this this may be incoming and this two may be outgoing lines so the bus bars uh, are arranged like this and uh, this bus bars uh, handle large amount of current uh, that may be in uh, few hundreds or uh, also maybe more than a thousand or more so the resistance is uh, required to be small otherwise uh, it is not good for the insulation so um, uh, what is uh, desired here is the low resistance what we are getting it here next time we will discuss more about resistance